Well, let's now focus on Cyclone Asani that's formed over the southeast Bay of Bengal and it's intensified into a severe cyclonic storm that's likely to bring heavy rain to parts of Andhra Pradesh, Odisha, West Bengal in coming days. And in fact, in Bengal, Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee has rescheduled a visit to these districts, a visit that was supposed to happen this week uh, because of the cyclone. A tweet by the Defence PRO said the Coast Guard aircrafts and ships were being used to broadcast warnings to fishermen and that disaster response teams were on standby. Let's go across to Alok now for more. Alok, what is the latest that you're hearing? Uh, well, so uh, two or three things that have already been mentioned by you and Priyanshi. Uh, essentially, I think uh, the uh, the interest or the concern on the worry for us uh, who are in Kolkata or in the nearby districts would be how much damage uh, potential the cyclone has. Uh, see, if it is just going to be rainfall and it's not going to be any major damage, then I think everyone will keep their fingers crossed and hope that this is not an Amphan of 2020 or even a YAS of 2021, because these cyclones also came in around the same time. Uh, but like you said, uh, Mamta Banerjee, the Chief Minister, has deferred a visit that she was planning uh, to two districts. Uh, and now she says that she's going to go uh, next week, which is after May 17th. Uh, that's because uh, she wants to monitor the cyclone. Uh, it is, uh, as of now, expected to trigger heavy rainfall and winds between May 10 to 13 uh, in Bengal, and of course in Odisha and nearby Andhra Pradesh. Uh, but uh, uh, again, at the moment, you never know because these cyclones do sometimes, you know, whether they can take a turn for the worse or not is something that everyone will be worried about. Uh, the districts that are expected to receive heavy rainfall are North and South 24 Parganas and East Midnapur or Purva Medhnipur, uh, which is all uh, near to Calcutta, though Kolkata itself uh, may not be very badly affected as of now. But again, you know, there are too many mays and ifs and buts right now. Uh, because uh, uh, there is constant monitoring happening and, you know, warnings and advisories are being given out in real time. Uh, so the PRO defense here in Kolkata has tweeted, and I'm sure we may have those images uh, on air also, of uh, their choppers, etc., giving out warnings over the sea to fishermen and uh, also to any other mariners who may be in the area. So they are saying, and the uh, local uh, IMD or the weather department here has said, that there should be a suspension of tourism activities between the 10th to 12th of May and also fishing activities. So as of now, those are the advisories. Uh, but one waits to see and like I said, one keeps uh, fingers crossed, hoping that there won't be any major damage uh, from this cyclone and that uh, while it may trigger rains and winds, of course, but uh, it won't go beyond that. But uh, right now, like I said, everyone's monitoring what's happening. Right. Thanks, Alok, for joining us with those details. Uh, on this story, we're also now joined by our guest, Mahesh Palavat, who is the VP of Meteorology and Climate Change at SkyMet Weather. Mr. Palavat, tell us more about the movement of the cyclone and when and where will it make landfall, if at all? Uh, see, as of now, the cyclone is moving with a speed of, say, uh, 18 to 20 kilometer per hour. That is the speed of movement of the eye of cyclone. And the wind speed is around 100 to 120 km per hour, around the core of the eye. And it is moving in a northwesterly direction towards south Odisha and Andhra Pradesh coast. And uh, while reaching uh, near the coast, say, it will maintain a distance of 200 to 250 km. And thereafter, it will recover. Uh, by night of uh, 10th of May, it will recover in northeasterly direction. As of now, the cyclone uh, today, it is as a, uh, here as a, a severe cyclone. And it will move in northwesterly direction. And uh, from this uh, point, uh, like uh, from uh, southern parts of Odisha and northern parts of uh, coastal Andhra Pradesh, it will recurve in north easterly direction and it will maintain a distance uh, from Orissa coast of uh, around 200 to 250 kilometers and it will start degenerating because as of now, sea surface temperatures are uh, conducive, uh, 30 to 31 kilometers per hour and moderate vertical wind shear that is 20 to 25 knots. As it will move in northerly parts, or you can say over northwest Bay of Bengal, sea surface temperature will start diminishing, or you can say uh, reducing, and vertical wind shear will also start increasing, leading to de de degeneration of this weather system. So uh, it will move uh, as a de deep depression over Gangetic, uh, near the Gangetic West Bengal, or you can say southwest Bay of Bengal. So uh, threat is only uh, over uh, north coastal Andhra Pradesh, coastal Orissa, and uh, the Gangetic West Bengal area. 
and that too the wind speed will be around 60 to 70 km per hour at the most and uh, rainfall will be moderate uh, with isolated heavy spells we do not expect heavy to extremely heavy rainfall in the order of say 150 to 200 mm uh, rainfall will be in the range of say 60 to 70 somewhere it will be it may uh, be uh, 90 to 100 mm and wind speed will be uh, 70 to 75 km per hour so potential of damage which we have seen in the case of yas and amphan Uh, uh, it is uh, very less, but it's still we should right. not lower our guard. Yeah. All right. So that is a relief. So it won't be as damaging as those cyclones of the past. But uh, worrying is this trend of you know cyclones emerging more frequently uh, from the Bay of Bengal. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Palawat, for joining us on the program this morning.